Okay, so on uh, on my little shorts on YouTube, I did this, and I want to do more of a little bit of a more of a review on the Beetle bag. And I have other bags that I've had adventures with. This one is by far my favorite because it's beautiful. My wife got it for me for Father's Day last year. Um, she's the one that's on the camera. Here. This is this is us. This is my beautiful wife. Hopefully the sun didn't blind me on that one. Anyways, uh I so bad want to use this at work where I work at, but here in a minute you'll see why. The other bags that I don't use it. Uh Again, like I said, it was little shorts, so on here. This is the front of the bag. This is the high vis beetle bag, the tech pack. Just one side of it, you know, you got your tape, <clears throat> tape uh, holder there, and the clip. You know, I got some clips like that. This is the back. This right here. So most of the clip right here. So whenever you put it on, all that weight is not on this right here the weight is on the metal so that the weight is distributed that way and it's very comfortable that way too this is uh the handle it's a pretty good handle it's strong it's uh mounted with these metal things it's got these allen screws in there the other side of course i got to match my bag with the high vis tape measure i love high vis since i started this job and then back to the front, so you got this pouch right here. It comes down, pulls down. I got my magnetic stuff in there. Where uh, you can hold all of this, but whenever you're at a job site and you're taking apart a machine that's got bolts and nuts, it's like that. And this is a good place to put it. You got the little one, just extensions and swivels and all that stuff for your sockets your drives this is a pocket right here pretty good velcro I just got some pads in there that's all I got in there right now like I said I'm not using this for work so it's just a it's just a bag that I've got the front pocket flops down this right here keeps it from flopping all the way down getting dirty or whatnot you use that as a table too so you're working it's got a little magnetic thing right there I just got some oddball stuff in here go to milwaukee tip thing and got there's a socket thing in there for little jobs this big ass thing or big thing sorry for my language you know just just the tools that you see in there and then you'll see some other tools in here like some electrical stuff little bean meter and thousand watt or a thousand volt um needle nose pliers and pliers right here that you can use with this brand I don't know what they're I don't know how you say it it's just from Amazon um, some other stuff in here I like this tool right here just put your wire in there and it stri strips it and it pulls it apart instead of having to twist and all kinds of stuff and something like this sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't uh, it's universal you can have a you crimp it which I this brand, this is hyper tough. I wouldn't recommend this one because this one, this crimper kind of bends. So, it's just something to start out with. Uh, some combination wrenches. Other ones are in the other bag. Here's a HVAC air conditioning tool, which I use for something else. I don't want to go into detail what it is, but it's, I mean, it's a pretty good tool. That's the front. You know, I got a walk box knife and the walk knife able to set it came together it's pretty sharp it's pretty good Let's back up come around the other side to the back side you can see this hook this hook is awesome you can hang this on things and it'll hold it up i'll do a little demonstration for you it's not that heavy this bag not that heavy but i mean Load it down, I mean, it'll work. Okay, it's, it's holding it. So, I mean, it's a good little demonstration. 
on how that hook works. Anyway, back in there, back to the back. Another thing about this, you want to notice on both sides, front and back, it's got this lock mechanism. You got this hole that comes together, and you can lock your say you lock your uh, your bag, kind of like how it is on suitcases for airlines. I like that security option. There's some welding gloves right there. Some more sockets. It's a light. Utility knife. You know, level caliper. Little cheap caliper. I mean, it does the job. It works, but it's all plastic. It's not metal. It doesn't have the clamp on it either, which is a uh, hyper tough. So, let me start with. I'm gonna pop it right here. You know, this this will fit in there. Get all these gloves out of here. Is, but that's how this sound handy on it. Look in here. You know, you got some room in here. You know, it's pretty good. Um, this is for pan or it's for your uh, meter. It's a panel for your meter and all that stuff. It's a pocket, not panel. A pocket. This is a panel. Um, <clears throat> more pockets for stuff. Pretty good. I like it. You got these little pockets right here. For bits and stuff like that, and of course, I got me a dog tag right here. A little bit, I think, because it's just perfect in there, don't fall out or nothing. It's got this little thing in here where you can put stuff in there and hang it. This light's pretty good because whenever it's dark, I can have that light right there and see what I'm see what I'm doing or I can take it out. Got a little magnetic thing on it. Car engine works and what that got this pocket and that pocket, it's a see through pocket. Same thing in the front, but that's that's the hobbyist veto bag. I want to invest in a veto blackout, and this is where I'm gonna throw out a big shout out to Hooligan TV. He's got his own channel, I'm not gonna say his name because I, I don't know how. He is on security or anything like that. I'm not gonna tell you where he lives or anything. But I've been discussing things with him about Vito and all kinds of stuff with him. Uh, I, what I need is a laptop panel for a portfolio I use for paperwork. And he gave me a little demonstration on it if a uh, M12 would fit back there if it's just in the back. I mean, when it comes to blackout, when it comes to the blackout, this is the 2022 catalog. This is the blackout. Is the lighting good or not? Mm -hmm. These are panels. These are panels that goes in there. You can remove them. You can put them in. That's what I really like about the blackout. Uh, Traditionally, when they started out with this blackout, it was these four first ones that they came with. And now they have newer ones. This is a folio. And then you have this one, which is kind of similar with the Wheeler um, Vito, where this front little pocket right here will come out and this will stay inside. And then you have this one right here, which is the uh, V-Swap Utility panel, which I, I, I would like to have that one in yellow not orange but anyways that's what i'm trying to invest in and i'm about to explain it to you right now so first things first where i started out with was this bag right here this is issued from where i work it is the klein tools backpack i don't know which one it is i don't have the details on, on, on that well i mean it's a it's an all right bag i mean it stands up when it's closed when you open it, when you're loaded with tools, it tends to flop down. See how see how that is? It flops down, and you're loaded down. That's that's how your bag's gonna be. And uh, some people might like that, and I don't. You know, and there's a there's quite a bit of pockets here, but it's just not organized. There's not a place for a portfolio. There are some tools in there. 
this is all issued from my company where I work at. And I mean, you know, I mean, if your company issues a bag and that's all you got, you know, for your budget, it's fine. I'm just a little picky. <laughs> all right, so, anyways, uh, we'll go to the bag that I'm using now. This is my bag. Use a good lighting. Alright, so we'll move things over here. Put the beat out of the way, I don't want to get it dirty. Okay. So this bag, my wife got me for Christmas. Uh, it runs about a about hundred bucks. The Vito will run you about 300 About 310 that one the high vis is about about 310 315 The the blackout is about 329 330 This one It's a good bag. I mean, I'm not I'm not gonna lie. It really is. You know, I've had it since last year of Christmas But as you can see it's not standing the bottom is folding it's folding up so you you every once in a while periodically you have to put your hands in there and you have to push this back out for it to stand like this but it doesn't uh this is a welcome lin uh backpack like i said it's a good bag it really is I, I'm not going to dish any of these bags. Any of these bags. I'm not going to diss the company. I'm not going to diss any of them. They're good bags. For one, here's the portfolio or laptop compartment. It's in the very back. You can see how, you see how big it is and deep it is. Can you see in there? You can see that. You know, my whole hand goes in there and whatnot. You know, it's, it's pretty good. It's got some good cushioning. Um... This is my portfolio. You know, this is what I use for paperwork and whatnot. So I mean, I I need this, and I need a bag like this. This one does have the hook, like the Vito does. It's not as strong. You can see it it's split in two, so it's kind of welded together too. It does bend just by my sheer force of my hands. But it does work. It works. Um, close that back up. Right here. This also has the same thing as a locking mechanism, but it's only for the main compartment. The other compartments doesn't have locking mechanisms. So we'll just lock off. And then now it will stand once I open it up. All my locks in the way. Gotta be safe though, right? And now it's standing. Standing because of. So, this is my collection of tools that I use at work, everyday basis. You know, I've got the most of it's Klein. You know, that one and that one. One reaches out, can come out, put it on an impact, impact driver. Same thing with this one right here. This one will come out. You don't lose your tools. That one will come out. This back stinks. I mean, it stinks. It's terrific. You know, let's go back in there. Started out with this. Um, company is Fit Wine. It's got the little bits in there and stuff like that. It's ratcheting. This will come out. It's different bits. Stuff like that. The, uh, this is not ratcheting, which is fun. Then I got the stubby for the Klein, which that comes out. Another thing about the impact. But it does have a feature. 
which is these. They come out, here's your other bits. Which is the same thing with the longer one that comes out on this side too. With your, with your bits. It's pretty nice. And then uh, this came as a set with the fit, fit wing, the E, S wing. Yeah, it's S wing. This is the Phillips. And this is the flathead. And I don't use it for a screwdriver. I use it for like a chisel or to separate things. And you're not supposed to. It's unsafe. <laughs> but hey, you do what you got to do. Okay, so this is this one comes with the folio. It comes out. And you can hang this somewhere where you want. It's not being utilized or all the pockets not being utilized or whatnot. Uh, in my opinion, I think this bag is for somebody who is like really... Like a like a really big into electrician it's got all these little bits and stuff like that for heavy for heavy uh purposes like this i i really don't think it's it's meant for that type of job like what i'm doing but it's holding up uh, sockets it goes from uh nine sixteenths all up to inch and a quarter it's pretty good sockets got that the Phillips half inch drive and then uh, this is just homemade I made it at work so whenever I clean things or spray things down I can use it got another one of those uh, metal trays that goes in there fits in there perfectly I mean you can see that you can see how it fits in there it's still got room which is nice you know it's this big old hammer Slant in it's pretty nice, it's dirty. And then you got your snippets, I love these things. These things grip, and I've done the test on it where you do the grip and you stand on it, <laughs> it does it. So I've got the set, got the, the 1210, and then I've got the six right here. Got a little thing in those pliers in there, a little pocket right here on the side. It's another pocket on the rear on the side. It does come with a charger, a port charger. I thought that was pretty cool whenever I was doing reviews on it. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. You know, you can put your phone or, or whatever in here, plug it in, and then inside you have this cord where you can plug in your battery back up, which I haven't done that yet, but a little flashlight. Over on the side, you know, I've got my box knife, flashlight. They say this is a tactical flashlight. There's nothing tactical about it. It's just a flashlight. Uh, you know, pins, tape. On this side is my locks. You know, another extra tape thing right there. So that's the inside of the apartment. Main compartment. Big whole shebang. Like I said, I mean, it's a good tool. It's a good tool bag. If it was, if it, if it had the quality like Vito did, then yeah, I would continue to use it and I would, you know, I would say no to the black one. But it's not. So, and you, you can tell I've got it loaded. It's, These are the tools I need, believe it or not. Okay. Let's go to the other compartment. This compartment right here is just a little compartment where you can, you know, you put cigarettes and stuff and other stuff. I'll just check it out. In this compartment this is where I put all my electrical stuff. My meter, wild strippers, wild cutters, dikes, 
crimpers. This is issue from work. Wear uh, wire or whatever how you say it. That's what this one. This one's the 1.0 4 4.5. And then this one is the bigger version, which is the one 2.6 or 2 by 6. One or two by 6.5. And this one is just that I got off of Amazon Phillips. It is 1000 volt graded. And then you got the fuse pullers, the gigantic fuse pullers. Blue one, and this gray one right here. And then the electrical stuff right there. Um, connectors and bits. You got a nice thing of tape. And here in the main compartment, I forgot to show you, is I have some rubber gloves and some leather gloves for safety whenever you get into a panel or whenever you're checking the leaves and continuity and all that stuff. Because you're, you're working with pretty high voltage, you know, 480. Front, you know, you're working all the way up to 480. This is an addition that I added on to. On the very front of the bag, it's a Moly system. But I added this bag on there, you know, for one to, I guess, to try to keep it not as dirty and whatnot. And let this get dirty. But also the pockets, you know, there's nothing in that one, but the pockets are going to hold your tape, your thread tape, stuff like that. But, you know, that's my, it's my little venture and my bags and stuff like that. And you look close, you look at it and you see how grimy my hands are now, just by touching the bag. <laughs> that's why I don't want to use the, the high-vis veto. You know, and it's sentimental. I don't want to use it because my wife got it for me. And... What? The back pocket. Oh, the back pocket. That's the folio. That's where the folio goes. Oh, that was that one. Yeah. Oh, okay. And here's the back of it. You know, he's got a little little clip clip on the, on the straps, the shoulder straps. These shoulder straps was padded. Yeah, I guess the fatting went down a little bit. This is some good cushion though. It does, it's it's it is comfortable. But this bag, for my kind of applications on what I do, you know, it's apparently it's just I mean it's already since December, and we're in uh barely in February, and it's getting beat up. I mean literally getting beat up. And and I don't I don't treat it like crap. I mean, I really don't. Um, I don't throw it on the ground or anything like that. Whenever, you know, I'm, you know, I'm you know, whenever I carry it, I carry it. And it's it's not too comfortable. It's pretty good. Uh, the few things that's uh, defaulted on it since. I've used it in December of last year. One is the clip, it's busted. Two, as you already seen the front of it, it's already folding in. The, the, the platform of it, it's already folded in. It used to have a- uh, I'm cracking. It's cracking? Yep. Oh, it is, huh? It's a, uh, it used to have a waist strap, which that busted off. So you can see where, it was right there that busted off so you know december january december january february and almost well, not, not even almost march but that's two months you know like i said i have a lot of tools in this bag so you know if you're gonna if you're gonna be doing something with with heavy heavy machinery tools then you're gonna need something that can handle that heavy toolage carry it tool carrying uh versatile thing i guess i don't know what we're trying to use here anyways uh yeah that's how i put it down whenever i put it down like that or if i put it down on the ground I sit down on the ground i don't drop it i don't abuse it nothing you know it's 
I mean, it's, like I said, I mean, it's a pretty good bag. But it's just not the best. Yeah, it's already cracking. So now my tools are going to get damaged and get rust and all that kind of stuff. So, like I said, I mean, for for a different application than what I do, yeah, it would be a good bag, you know, for like a a lightweight, lightweight electrician. Uh, maybe HVAC, maybe I don't know. What we work on is gearboxes, motors, augers, you know, heavy, heavy industrial stuff. So, I mean, now, now I see that, I'm like, man, I gotta get in a hurry to get the blackout video back, because, man, that's, that's terrible. But I did get the 20, 22 bag, or catalog, and it's, got some awesome bags in there they got a new bag coming out let me see if I, here it is here I just moved back here I just moved back coming out man it's the tech pack MC special ops it is not v swap so it's gonna be if the panels are gonna be in there you're gonna be stuck in there um, it is not the tech pack where it has the pocket in the front and it's not it's not the MC LT where it has the laptop panel in the back so i mean it's this is what i really really want is because it's black and it's got high vis i mean i am all about high vis if you was to see me go to work i mean i'm just everybody calls me uh tennis ball because <laughs> yeah i'm just totally high vis i mean you can't i can't hide from nobody <laughs> but yeah this is Vito is to me to me Vito is the way to go i mean seriously it really is, but you know, I might have to go into this one. I mean, that one's getting destroyed. I might have to go into this one until I get that black beetle bag. But big old shout out to Tooligan TV. He's the one that's been uh, helping me with this venture of the Vito Pro Pack stuff. And shout out to my wife too for you know helping me out with some of these bags and stuff like that. You know, if you if you look and my truck you see it's loaded with tools and all kinds of stuff i mean i don't know if you can see it is there is pretty good lighting no mm. yeah it's just loaded with tools i mean i'm gonna got dead man's dead man's jack back there dewalt stuff you know we need her all kinds of stuff I, mean, I love tools i love tools my wife will tell you how much i love tools <laughs> <laughs> here you see it what about it babe <laughs> Do I love tools? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, anyways, anyways, this is us. This is the Barkley family. We thank you for viewing this review and whatnot. But hey, guess what? If you want to know more, subscribe and hit that notification button, and we'll get back to you.